Hello and welcome to your March 2023 full moon reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, this month the full moon is in the sign of Virgo, which is the sixth house. <clears throat> and what we can expect is or can be found slightly in the old name, at least the Native American name that was given to the moon in March, which is actually the worm moon because that is the time when earthworms show up which allow robins and other birds to feed now with the connection to robins we're in the topic of understanding boundaries and understanding family and values and ancestry all this comes under that umbrella and the full moon makes it interesting because we're in the month of Pisces, if that makes sense. So the, the sun, if that makes sense, is in Pisces. And the moon in Virgo is like an opposite to the sun in Pisces. What that means is when there's an opposition, even though it's not a direct opposition, but if there's an opposition between the moon and the sun, Anything and everything you do this month, especially on the 7th, um, the full moon, is non-negotiable. So whatever it is you want, you say. Really, really important. Really, really important. Claim what you want to do. Now, because the robin by default has this orange chest, <coughs> birds see differently to how we see things. So when the robin is in the bushes, that orange chest sort of becomes a glowy, glowing thingy and other birds can see him. Therefore, not only, don't, not only do other birds not bump into him, but he claims the bush that he sits in, <coughs> if that makes sense. Since this has to do with the, with the earthworm, which means you claim your space and you feed yourself and yours. The energy of the full moon in the sign of Virgo Therefore, it's as follows. Virgo is the sign of the maiden. And as the sign of the maiden, uh, Virgo by default, are not necessarily people that uh, fall very easily under stress. All this combined means that on the 7th of March 2023, you will be very hard when it comes to claiming what you want. You will have a more direct speech you will have a way more direct way of claiming it and it's a good thing because the point is I came here to feed myself and mine so this is about again non-negotiable on the full moon anything you wish to manifest can be manifested so much easier because the energy is just there but it has to do with your understanding it can only be done when my energy stays with myself, right? So if the energy stays with yourself, it is much easier, right? But for the most part, very likely, because of the uh, association with the earthworm, earthworm and the birds, uh, which also means these things from a different point of view, and especially with the robin, um, you will oftentimes, or you will very likely on, the, on, on March 7th, think about changes you wish to make for the better where you claim something for you and your family unit right so it's quite important to understand if you are should you be a person that is quite burdened by the ancestors you chose <coughs> it's it's going to be a, a bit of a test for you to see if you're actually claiming just for yourself which is basically what is asked of you it's really really important not to be um overruled by others and um, the full moon in Virgo on March 7th is that energy that will help you with achieving that if that makes sense All right so again energetically speaking there's not super much going on apart from you being more direct uh, claiming more things if that makes sense um, and that has to do with the fact that that as we're moving away from the full moon it takes a couple of days before anything interesting is actually happening in the sky, if that makes sense. So, uh, and that means that there's no distractions with regards to 
letting whatever it is you manifest come into fruition. I think the most important um, event in the sky in March has always been the equinox, which uh, is on the 20th of March. And the idea here is, um, even though technically speaking we're celebrating on the 21st, has to do with the equator, point is, when we have the March the 20th, the, 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 um, the day is as long as the night. And because there's this equality, the equinox has always been seen has always been seen as a reset button. So the reset button, where you kind of go, okay, let me just reset everything. Let me just find my strengths again. Let me just go back to understanding and knowing who I fully am. You will be able to do that much better by default because the energy flows that way later in the months on March the 20th. That doesn't mean we should dismiss the energy of the earthworm because when worms show up, to be eaten, if that makes sense, right? So if there's a there's a circle, this happens in circles. So so there's a, there's a cyclical way of um, letting birds come back, if that makes sense. Um, it is energetically speaking some sort of a rebirth, and we're right in that energy. And then don't forget that we're in the month of Pisces, and Pisces is the sign of the dreamer. So by default, anything spiritual, anything uh, more artistic, anything much less confrontational will actually work this this month with the exception of claiming whatever it is you want very directly on March to 7th. Guys, I hope um, that helps um, and I hope I see you all next month. Thank you so much. If this is too dark, I was just playing around with some lights. You know, that's it. <laughs> see you next month. Bye bye.